stampers. Today we're going to be having some fun making this super cool window card and I'm going to show you how to make this great frame. And you have to love this greeting. It comes from the Giggle Greeting stamp set. It says birthdays are like hairballs. The more you have, the more you want to gag. I hear you, kitty. Ain't that the truth. This comes from the Giggle Greeting stamp set. Look how fun this set is. I love this dog chasing his tail. It says, you did it, now go chase your dream. Or your tail, or whatever. <laughs> it's so funny. I also wanted to take a minute to say thank you for all of your kind notes, for subscribing to my YouTube channel, for all of your comments, your emails. You guys rock totally, and I live to inspire you. And be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of what's coming up next, and you are not gonna wanna miss it. Let's get started. I'm starting with some stays on black ink, and we'll ink that cat image right up. I've got it on the right hand side towards the center. Here are the colors of the Stampin' Right markers I'm using. We're gonna color Kitty in with the lightest yellow so saffron. A little strawberry in his tongue. Now with the Crush Curry, it's a few shades darker than the saffron, so it's just gonna add some highlighting. And I'm kinda scribbling, not really drawing straight lines with that. Just over the shaded areas of the image. I'm taking the fine tip of the pumpkin pie and just scribbling over very lightly those same areas that are shaded on the image. And that coloring gives Kitty a little pop. Okay, now we're gonna create our window. I'm using Stampin' Up's new ink colors this year. This is baked brown sugar and strawberry slush. Tiny little bit of snail, just a hair to keep them together because I'm gonna actually rip them apart again in a second. I'm using our new magnetic platform because this is the bomb. I really don't want our framelits to move while we make this window sheet. It's important that this particular cut is exactly where I want it. I've got a cutting pad on the magnetic platform. It's brand spanking new. Oh my gosh, I love new. <laughs> Anyways, it won't be new when I'm done with it. <laughs> our first cut with the ovals framelit is the second from the smallest. Now here's my trick to lining it up. I placed the insert with the kitty on top just for a second just so I can get the placement of exactly where I want this framelit. I'm kind of holding it up so it doesn't pop down and I'm just hovering over it till it's lined up. I want it lined up where it's going to be inside the card and then I'm going to pull that out and pop that down. And now the magnet on the magnetic platform is holding it down. Second cutting pad on top and crank it through. Check this out. This is how new my cutting pad was. Isn't it beautiful? It's my very first mark. Oh, there'll be so many more loving marks to come. By the way, it is supposed to do this. In fact, in time, it will look like this. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with this pad either. I just wanted it to be a little flat for the magnetic platform. Okay, so now we'll just pop that right out and we have our window right in, inside our card. And you can even take your insert and you can see how well you did by just putting your little insert in there. You can even attach the insert now if you wanted to. Isn't that awesome? Okay, next I'm going to show you how to make this cool little frame border over that window. So using the same oval that we cut the window, second to largest, third to largest, line one up exactly in the center of the other, and run it through the big shot in between two cutting pads. And then once we pull those apart, there's our frame. All right, remember we only attached that with a tiny little bit of snail? I'm taking it apart now. Now we're using the Alphabet Press Impressions folder. Going back to the regular multi-purpose platform that comes with the big shot. Gonna place our top panel right inside, sandwich between two cutting pads and crank her through. Check this out. Love, love, love this texture. Oh, it's awesome. Now we can go ahead and really stick this down with some snail. And then you can attach the frame right over the window using either snail or mini glue dots. And then here's another fun product and I'm just gonna wrap it right through this little window. This is new ruffled and it's elastic ribbon from Stampin' Up! and the Baked Brown Sugar. Oh, yummy. And I'm just gonna tie that in a little knot. Okay, one more yummy embellishment. These are brand new boutique details from Stampin' Up! They come in the new ink color colors. The strawberry slush, the pistachio. Are you salivating yet? <gasps> yummy! You can stick him on either with a mini glue dot or a stamp of dimensional will work with that too. And your window card is complete and he's so fun. And be sure to subscribe to my videos because you are not going to want to miss this one. Coming soon. Look at this. Oh, gorgeous. You can find all of these measurements, information, and details on this project as well as buy all these products on my blog. If you're on YouTube, you can click right here on this video. You can type in this URL or you can click on the link in the description below.
I like to call that my easy button. Be sure to visit my blog. I post daily inspiration specials and all kinds of Stampin' Up! fun. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah.